Today's short lecture is just going to talk about listening. I considered adding in another topic, but ironically wanted you to really, really focus on listening. Most humans have the capability to hear things, but you and your brain have to actively work to listen. To actually listen, you need to receive sounds, distinguish the sounds, focus your attention, assign meaning to sounds, and remember the information. I want you to really think about why listening instead of hearing is so important and the consequences of just hearing something, like maybe forgetting about a component of the speech requirements because you weren't listening. Listening will make you a better speaker, and I would argue will make you better especially in interpersonal relationships and in professional settings. There are a few barriers to listening that we should review, especially when we take culture and our audiences into consideration. And I'm not just talking about in this class. There are both language barriers and vocabulary barriers. Speaking a different language might be more obvious, but vocabulary might, be, might not be something you always considered. Speaking in technical jargon is the book's example. I have an Australian colleague and we've run into a few vocabulary barriers because we literally use different words for different things, which is something you really need to pay attention to when you are in the communication profession. You'll always want to consider cultural barriers. I'll probably bring this up too many times, but we come from different cultures. You can generally stereotype things about your classmates, but you should be careful about assumptions. Recently, I attended a Catholic wedding. The priest asked that everyone actively participate in the ceremony, which left my husband, who was raised in another religion, feeling very confused and alienated. That was not the priest's intention at all, but it was an inconsideration to the cultural barriers we face with a diverse group. Some other barriers you might want to personally consider as we move through this course include physical barriers, like being sick or actually having a hard time hearing someone, psychological barriers, like focusing on another class or maybe you've gotten into a fight with someone you care about, and receiver apprehension. Maybe the message is making you uncomfortable. Studies have shown your body's natural reaction is to stop listening when something makes you uncomfortable. This can really hurt and hinder the critical thinking process. So, how do we become better listeners? It seems simple, like prepare to listen. Think about the questions you may have or what you want to know. Also, take notes or find something comparable that works for you that keeps you actively listening and engaged. Consider your goals. Focus on how this information may be useful to you. And for this specific class, consider topics that might provide useful information to your classmates. People are more likely to listen to you when they think something could matter to them. And last, don't get focused on delivery. I know that in a speech class, it's really easy to get nervous about your delivery. So first remember that everyone is in the same boat. We're all self-conscious about how we move and sound. So just let it go. Great speakers make mistakes with their delivery and they just keep moving on. Let's agree to just let people do their thing and move on from it. I think this is probably enough of my blabbing for one video. I hope you've listened a bit, maybe taken a few notes, and you're ready to actively listen to your peers.